James Webb Telescope just discovered galaxies that break modern theories. Many scientists believe that there is another planet like our Earth somewhere in the universe, and they're undergoing serious exploration to discover this kind of planet. This results in upgrading the equipment's use. The James Webb Telescope was implemented to replace the Hubble Telescope. The Webb Telescope captures several images containing various bodies, planets, asteroids, and clusters of galaxies. However, some of these galaxies were discovered to break modern theories. It can foresee some of the extraordinary projections in our solar system. Welcome to our channel. This video will discuss the recently discovered galaxies that break modern theories. So buckle up, because this ride into space will be a wild one. Astronomers' ideas about the early universe have been disproven by the telescope's startlingly crisp images. Today, the abundance of galaxies visible in the distant cosmos may be seen in Webb's photos, taken just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. The most well-known rush is the stampede of research teams racing to find the farthest galaxy in the Webb data. Even though some of the contenders still have to be validated by additional research, all of them would surpass Hubble's previous record for the farthest galaxy, which dates from roughly 400 million years after the Big Bang. One analysis of Webb's first deep-filled image discovered many far-off galaxies with disk-like shapes. Nine astronomers deduced from Hubble data that local galaxies like the Milky Way frequently exhibit regular formations like disks, while distant galaxies are more asymmetrical. A team of astronomers at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York said they had in mind a concept of what galaxies at these distances would look like and how much detail we'd see. According to the notion, interactions with nearby galaxies more regularly led to distortions in early galaxies. However, the reality is just blowing our minds. The most distant confirmed galaxy before the James Webb Space Telescope's deployment was GNZ11, which astronomers observed roughly 420 million years after the Big Bang, giving it what astronomers call a redshift of 11.6. The higher the redshift, the further back in time we observe a galaxy. Redshift describes how much the light from a galaxy has been stretched as the universe expands. A week after the first James Webb telescope launch, photos were public. Astronomers announced the discovery of galaxies at redshift 13, or roughly 300 million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb telescope is entirely able to find galaxies from this long-gone age. Different methods have been used to find galaxies. SMACS 0723 gravitational lens helped astronomers, led by Xin Yan of the University of Missouri, Columbia, to find 88 candidate galaxies beyond a redshift of 11, including a few that are thought to be at a redshift of 20. These galaxies would be the furthest ones ever discovered if confirmed due to cosmic expansion. Today, these galaxies would be over 35 billion light-years away from us. In two other studies, high redshift galaxies are discovered in regions of the sky where the James Webb Space Telescope has only made deep exposures without using gravitational lensing. James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera took a survey of pictures of 10 distinct areas of the sky on Miriam. Six of these patches are observed by James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared spectrograph, while the mid-infrared instrument of MIRI focuses on four. Callum Dunnan, a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh, led a team of astronomers that discovered a candidate galaxy at a redshift of 16.7, or only 250 million years after the Big Bang. The team also found five more galaxies with redshifts larger than 12, thereby breaking the previous record for a redshift set by the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope's predecessor 
and current collaborator. Another team led by Stephen Finkelstein of the University of Texas, Austin, discovered a galaxy using the same observations from Sears with a redshift of 14.3, placing it 280 million years after the Big Bang. The researchers have named this galaxy Maisie's Galaxy in honor of Finkelstein's daughter. All possible distant galaxies show evidence of significant ultraviolet light emission, which may be sufficient. Despite being observed just 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang, the ALS 073.1 galaxy already had a massive bulge, a regular rotating disk, and even signs of spiral arms. These features typically develop within galaxies over much longer periods and certainly not within one billion years of being formed. So how did it happen? Scientists discovered the answer to this using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array Telescope. Scientists behind this discovery captured the sharpest images of a primordial galaxy ever produced. The galaxy is ALS 073.1 and the picture showed a time when the universe was a mere 1.2 billion years old. The galaxy is located 12.6 billion light years away from our Earth. The time that took light to reach Earth from ALS 073.1 allows the scientists to peer back at when the galaxy was a true galactic baby. As they marveled at the young universe, the scientists were shocked to discover it had the features of a much older, more developed galaxy. Federico Lely, a researcher at Cardiff University's School of Physics and Astronomy, who was also the lead author of the study, said they discovered that a massive bulge, a regular rotating disk, and possibly a spiral arm were already in place in this galaxy when the universe was just 10% of its current age. In other words, the galaxy looked like a grown adult, whereas it should just be a baby. The so-called bulge is a tightly packed group of stars located at the galaxy's center. Previously, scientists thought galaxies developed this bulge very slowly over time, through the merger of smaller galaxies or via other processes which occur within galaxies. These data suggests that we underestimated the age by which galaxies formed. But if this is true, we might also have underestimated the age of the first forming stars. This discovery breaks all the rules, and we're in trouble if the results are confirmed. For instance, they contradict a lot of the early predictions and a lot of modern understanding when it comes to the evolution of the universe. But why? It's essential we know. Let's start from the basics, from our theories about the early phases of the universe. Firstly, the Big Bang happens, and the universe appears as a hot and dense single point in space. The afterglow of light and radiation left over from the Big Bang is contained in the so-called cosmic microwave background, which we can still observe and study in great detail. Then, in a very small fraction of a second, the universe undergoes an incredible growth spurt. This change is known as inflation. During the inflation phase, the universe doubled in size at least 90 times. As the universe expanded, it got cooler and less dense. This allowed the matter to form. Even light elements are created within the first three minutes. In fact, as the universe expanded, protons and neutrons collided to make deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen. Much of this deuterium is combined to make helium. Then, at an estimated 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe is still expanding, and matter cooled enough for electrons to combine with nuclei to form neutral atoms. This is the so-called recombination phase. At this point, the fog finally went away, and the universe became transparent. But this era was soon followed by a period of darkness. This period is what's called the Dark Ages. About 400 million years after the Big Bang, the universe went dark again. This period is called reionization. We are still investigating what happened and which objects were responsible for the reionization. 
But during this period, clumps of gas collapsed enough to form the first stars and galaxies. After the reionization, stars and galaxies were still developing. This is something that we know, and also, the Hubble Space Telescope has proved right. For instance, an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope shows a cluster of galaxies residing 10 billion light years away. This image is what we need to understand the discoveries. Also, galaxies like ALS 073.1 defy scientists' current understanding of galaxy formation, which poses deeper questions about how much we truly know about these cosmic beings. Ultimately, these findings call into doubt fundamental assumptions about the universe and, more locally, how our galaxy may have evolved. Primordial galaxies are a rarity, so peering back in time to look at their distinct characteristics and development is inherently difficult to do without using ever greater telescopes, both in space and on Earth. Scientists could reveal more surprising, terrifying, and shocking features by surveying the sky to seek and study them in detail. The James Webb Space Telescope's first image of the distant universe shocked astronomers and scientists. In the weeks and months following the findings, observers and theorists have struggled to explain them. The galaxies were surprisingly early to maturity. If genuine, could they be explained somehow by standard cosmological models? Or could the bevy of anomalously big and bright early galaxies be illusory? Perhaps because of flaws in the analysis of the telescope's initial observation? Let us know your opinions in the comments box. Kindly subscribe to our channel to watch more space-related videos. Remember to hit the notification button to stay updated. Thanks!